Hello there and welcome to the new tutorial for this course W dates and here we will going to look at our last topic which is dates with sets. Now this is the last topic which I could think of if you have any other topic in your mind then let me know in the comments and I can try creating a video for that. And apart from that don't miss my 100 W dates recipes link which is present uh, in the description. So we will going to look at the dates with sets and uh, sets basically helps us do the filtering of information in a more, much more visual form to clearly indicate what is in the filter and what is outside of the filter. So let's go into the tableau and see it in action. All right. So here we have the configuration present where we have the category information over here from this bill. And then we have the sum of sales present here. And this is the setting we did in the last video of rolling dates where we had picked up the last four month information over here. Now let's say the management is interested in viewing the information as to what has happened in the last 10 days or how much sales has happened in the last 10 days as compared to the rest of the four month. So for that what we can do is we can create sets and to create a set we can come to order date as we need to create a set on the dates. So for that we will click over here go into the create and click on set. Once we click on the set we will click on use all or select from list. Select from list gives us the option where we can go down over here and select the last 10 days and as you can see the sales are present up till the December 30th. So what we do is select the last 10 days from here manually and then we will click OK. Once we click OK what we get is basically this set and now this set what we can do is we can bring it over here as part of the sales and in basically indicates the sales which has happened in the last 10 days compared to the rest of the month. So this helps us look at the data from both the angles as to what is part of the last 10 dates and what is not part of the last 10 dates. For example, in many businesses, what happens is generally in when the quarter is about to close or when the month is about to close, a lot of focus has been given to close the sales. And in that case, they may be really interested in seeing in last 10 days or last 7 days or last 15 days, how much work is being done in terms of the value or in terms of the percentage which helps revealing that a lot of focus is being given in the last couple of days as compared to the rest of the month or the rest of the quarter and maybe try to correct the behavior in that case. So due to that those scenarios uh, dates creating sets on the dates become really helpful as uh, you can also put it like a filter so if I just go and click on the show filter it will show you both in and out. If you just want to see this piece, you can see this. Otherwise, you can see just the out piece. Also, if you want to edit this, you can come over here and uh, click on edit set where you can now have the option of choosing couple of more dates like the last 15 days. If you want to see, you can select those last 15 days now and click OK. And that will show you the last 15 days information as per the needs. So that's about how you can create the sets on the dates and then use it within your analysis. Also, this is just one case, but there are a lot of creative cases that people use. For example, to color the uh, data uh, whenever they are using in sort of a chart as to what is part of the last 10 days compared to rest of the days like you can think of a bar chart in this case. So that's basically helps revealing the information in a much more interesting pattern and uh, details given back to the end user as to what is included and what is not included. So that's about how you can create the sets based on the dates to reveal this interesting information in your data set. And as I mentioned, this is the last video of the course, but again, I will suggest if you think there is any other topic, like the main topic, not like tips and tricks, because for that anyway, I'm producing uh, 100 tips and tricks, which you can see it in the description. And then you can basically suggest me any main topic and I can create a video on that. 
with that thank you so much for taking this course and i hope by the end of this course you are able to get a lot of value out of it and let me know in your comments as your feedback of this course and uh, as always i'll try to improve based on the feedback that you are giving it to me